Once these root, I'll plant them down and look how much, look how much it fills out the center of this plant. So propagation is really the key to like making your plants look bushier if that's the look that you're going for. See, look at that. That'll be so pretty. Just takes time. So some of you might have seen the begonia video that I did. Um, I chopped off a couple, a few stems and they've now been in water for nine days. I wanted to show you the progress on the roots. So this one has been rooting for nine days and you can see some roots starting to sprout out of the nodes. There's two nodes here on the bottom, one, two, three. Um, but these two are the ones who have been in the water. So there's this piece, everything looks happy. The end of this node you can see right there, a root is starting to form. The end of this guy, start, starting to get a big chunky root right there. So that's our nine day update. Our begonias have been rooting for 14 days. So here's the roots. Got quite a bit coming out of the bottom of this guy. This is the single leaf. And we've got a couple stems coming out of this guy. This is crazy. Most of the time when I've rooted um, plants before, if I put them in the see-through glass, they usually go slower than if I put them in the opaque glass. But this seems to be doing the reverse, so... I don't know, it's kind of crazy. We're going to keep track of it still. I've got a couple of other things rooting over here, too. It's been almost a month. Check out those roots. I have actually already potted the other piece of begonia. There were so many nodes that were in the water. That thing got roots so fast and it was a really short stem. Um, this one, since it's kind of like quite a long piece and lots of leaves, I think it just took a lot longer for it to, to root. There's quite a bit of roots there. Um, I've got several that are at least an inch long. Um, I think I might leave this in this cup for just maybe a couple more weeks because I really like to have well-established roots before I pot this with the, the rest of the plant. And then this is the mother plant. I don't know if you remember or recall from my video what it looked like before, but I chopped that thing back pretty far and it has grown so much. Hi. <laughs> it has grown so much in just a month. It's incredible. These things freaking just crank out new leaves. It's been a little bit over a month. There's plenty of roots. It's probably about like five inches of roots or so, <laughs> Daniel. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pot this really quickly and show you what it looks like nice and super full. This has grown like a crazy amount since I even cut off these cuttings. <laughs> One minute. It's crazy. Ah, come here. Do you want to come be in a video? Come here. You say hi. Look right there. Hi. Do you like do you like this plant? Oh, oh, it's pretty, huh? Can you say pretty? Pretty. Pretty. Okay. Boy. You think you want a pepper? Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to suck on a pepper. Mm. 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 You like it? Okay, take a hard bite. There you go. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, she likes this. And finish that bite. I'll give you more. Here, let me cut it up for you. It's huge. Look at this. But there's still space in the center here that is where I'm going to plant these little guys. Daniel's making dinner for us right now. So I'm gonna show you up close here in a second what I'm doing, but I usually take like something fat. So this is like a fat Sharpie and I'm gonna make a hole um, so that I can stick the root. Ah! Ah! The root of these cuttings in the soil. That empty space right here is where I'm going to plant those two cuttings. Uh -oh. This one right here 
is the one that I planted, the one that was just a single leaf with like a ton of nodes. And if you can see, I just planted this like maybe a week ago and there's new growth shooting out right there. So it's pretty rad. So I'm just gonna make a couple of holes here. So this, I'm just going to stick right in where the hole is. This right here is the one that I just planted. What I'm trying to do is grow this like up more and bushy. So I'm just trying to stick this like as straight up as possible so it continues to grow in that direction. I'm gonna make another hole and stick this guy in there. Okay, so that is this stem right here. Down in there. So this is just gonna like kind of make the, fill out the center part. Look how bushy this center part is right here. That's gonna be crazy. Once those grow out like these, these three branches, it's just gonna be like this massive begonia. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> look at this giant bushy begonia. It is huge. Daniel, look at this thing. Look how big it is. He's a big boy. He's a very big boy. Makes me so happy. I'll post a before picture of what my plant looked like when I first got it. And it was probably under nine months ago that I got this plant. It only had four leaves on it. And I just kept propagating it like this, taking some cuttings and then planting them back in the dirt. And this thing is freaking huge. And it's just gonna get bigger. So yeah, if you wanna make your begonia huge and bushy, propagation is the way to go, my friend. Here it is in the corner of my dining room. So here's my dining table, all of my sewing crap. <laughs> but yeah, that's, this is where he lives. If you have patience, you can make your plants totally awesome. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and I will answer them to the best of my ability. This really is just a hobby for me. I'm not a professional by any means, but I love doing it. I love my plants and I would love to help you. Let me know and I hope you guys have a great day.